good evening everyone here today in this video we are about to discuss data analysis in a point by point discussion with respect to what is this process and what are the types of data analysis we have in the research work now come to data analysis here it is actually a process of uh, uh, what to call cleaning transforming and modeling the data such that we can get the useful in useful information for our required applications let it be uh, research work a business or any logistic environment like that later in simple words data analysis can be called as collecting and organizing the data in a proper manner to come to a conclusion or decision now we have so many tools in data analysis which make our work very much easier this is about the introduction about data analysis next we will go towards the data analysis process here in the data analysis process very first stage is collection that is collect the data whatever the data we collect here it is always in the raw form and it helps us to find out the question what we are doing and it might be this data might be from the internal sources or some companies or some secondary sources either the records let it be on social media or records from the what to call the public sectors or private sectors depends upon our work after getting this raw data we go for cleaning purpose such that it is it gets ready for the analysis it actually involves to clear any duplication is there any inconsistencies are available any errors are there or is it in structure or not we do in this particular concept of cleaning later we go for analyzing the data here the manipulation is carried out we're using various tools as i mentioned here we have data tools we can start by having some operations like correlation and making some outlines checking out the variation that has happened such that in the data now here even you can have the visualization softwares for plotting the data for in a graphical representation to make our work easier to understand after analyzing purposes happened we go for interpretation uh, it is to say that either the data that has been taken for analysis has given the answer for our question what are the recommendations that has given to us what are the merits or demerits or limitations of the previous work to our work we can decide the conclusion what happened here in the data analysis process later we move towards data analysis types now very first thing here it is descriptive type of data analysis it actually analyzes the entire data or it can be said that it will summarize the entire data now the main mathematical tools here they are used are mean or standard deviation such that we can have the percentage as well as frequency of making it into categorical data this is about descriptive analysis and also descriptive analysis helps us to explain what has happened and we can create a summary out of it for presenting the statistics most of the times in the statistical analysis we have to showcase the distribution if we take some example of any company like that now biggest thing is what happened is the answer we get from the descriptive analysis next one is the exploratory analysis it refers to the very critical process such that we carry out in initial investigations it will be experimental investigations to concern what are the types of patterns that has happened and to identify what are the errors and it also works on the assumptions we have taken in our research work will be investigated 
and we can have the final result in the form of statistics as well as graphical representations in the exploratory type of data analysis. Coming to the predictive analysis, it is like it tells us what will happen future or what is likely to happen, like probably something will happen by the means of having the existing data or taking the use of previous data. Now, the best examples we can have is like uh, oh, the savings, what we have, the salary, like that means we can estimate with this salary, we can buy so and so. These type of predictions, what we make, it comes under predictive analysis. Later, we go with the inferential analysis. Actually, it is used for analyzing a simple sample from the complete data we have. Now, we can have different conclusions from the same data by having selecting the different samples in this work. Means we can arrive at different summaries and different conclusions in the inferential type of analysis. And it is most important that each and every one we have a different perception towards our work. And whenever we take our analysis in inferential concept, it gives us various answers for a particular question. And it is up to us to decide which one is better or which one is not so better. This is how the data analysis is per process and its types are explained in simple words. Thank you for listening to us. Do suggest some car. Any other videos you want to see from our channel? Kindly share, like, and subscribe our channel for encouraging us to prepare more videos for knowledge sharing.